Watch this. Hands-free cap lowering and things falling off shelves at the same time. How's that? Is that pretty cool? That is really cool. Howdy, howdy, and welcome back to my DIY Expedition Camperville project. And if you all know, I've done a lot of electrification in this unique camper build. So as the interior is getting built out, the exterior is getting built out, I'm adding some more electrification to really enable or help really with the use of this Expedition Camper. And if you remember back from my most recent videos, and that was building out and installing these custom over cab storage boxes that also electrically do slide out for easy access and so not have to use a ladder or anything to put lightweight things up there. But those on top of some of the other modifications I've done to the cab, I've uh, certainly added some weight, making it harder to lift. And if you also remember from the last video, I did have an injury. And so it makes me realize, you know what? I need to make sure I'm making it easy to go and lift this cap. So going out, opening it up, taking some measurements, understanding really what's going on here on how this cab can lift and how it can be supported and how it can actually actuate it to help raise it and lift it. Now I considered many things, a manual lift, hydraulic lift, certainly different electric lifts or motors in order to do that, pan cranks and things like that. And ultimately what I came up with is really just another electric actuator. It was the easiest thing to fit into the small space of the engine underneath this very tight cab. Remember this cab is less than five feet from front of the bumper to the back of the cab. That is shorter than the single door on a typical pickup truck and so it is incredibly short there's a lot of space a lot of things crammed to this small space you got to be able to make it work and it was getting hard to lift even with two people supporting so here we go let me show you how he installed this electric lift to help you raise your cap so you can put extra weight on the rooftop or just make it easier for common maintenance um i'm gonna open this door so i get a little more yeah. leverage i'm ready okay okay you want to just kind of gently help me push it up. We'll just go slow. Up, yeah. Now these tilt caps can be lifted much easier when you open the doors. And in my case, with those overhead cab roof boxes, I can slide them forward and that'll also help. But the more weight that gets added in the cab, the harder it gets to lift these. And so just for common maintenance, everyday you know, needs, just and to make it easier for anybody lifting this, including some with injuries, went ahead and started lifting these and took a look inside, taking some measurements and really figuring out where an electric battery square could go and using the existing bolts that are there to mount in this. You've got those little wire switch. Yep, there you go. Okay, I'm ready. Power. I mean, it's pretty much taken almost all of it. I'm not doing anything. You're not doing anything? Yeah, I'm not doing a whole lot either. This solution worked great. It's about the only thing it could fit. A single linear actuator with a roller on a sliding track that was mounted on some L angle bolted into some standard factory bolts on the bottom of the cab. Is, is if we can have it so it holds it up just before that locks and then that way that never really has to be locked and managed and not be broken if it doesn't get managed and so that's why i think we push it so that way it just stops just, before just. it so i installed a steel roller track onto some fiberglass l angle bolted into the bottom of the cab and the roller on that has a stop on both the ends of it and i went ahead and adjusted the stops so that it stops the cab from opening just before the actual factory latch locks it into the locked open position this is a safety to ensure that it doesn't get locked into the open position so that it can't close down on that and then of course cause some sort of problem and this required some trial and error of raising and lowering the cab just to get that setting just right I like it. Wow. That's Dang. I know. That's a high fiber right there. That is, that is nearly perfect. A couple of notes here. One is that the lower part of the actuator is bolted into the frame and both these are solid mounts. But of course, one of these mounts can be removed if ever needed to be removed. And also there's going to be some safety catches that are going to be in here, some limit switches, but none of the actuator ever touches any of the seals or the fender or anything else here. It doesn't rub anything. So it's got a nice clear path there to move it through. And it does have a bit of a slight disengagement at the very end. So the cab can actually still float or move up and down on its little rubber isolators to handle any vibrations of the road. Nice. nice. Okay, we'll listen to the end here. I want to hear a clack and then a slight movement of the actuator. Yeah. Okay. That awesome. Good. Wow. This actuator is waterproof. It's also designed to be able to handle the temperatures here in the engine. 
and it doesn't touch any of the engine components even when they're vibrating or moving. And also, of course, it does stop just before that safety catch at the end. So it's just a very slight, easy little push to get to that final safety catch. And here's what this looks like from the outside. And all the factory safety catches and latches are all still retained and fully functional. Listen to the end here. And when you hear clack, then a slight movement of the actuator. Yeah. Okay, that awesome. seems good. Now, I went ahead and installed an actuator that has a 450 pound weight rating that may be more than necessary, but there is a bit of an angle here that goes in a bit of a steep angle. So I did some calculations that seem to be about the best size for this. It is a little bit oversized, but no doubt about it, like there needs to make sure there's some safeties here to ensure that it's not gonna damage anything. So it's not being operated during the wrong time, but I'll certainly provide a link in the show notes below. It's looking great. Yeah, there is that, you definitely hear it tone change in the motor yeah so it's, it's right now it's like barely loaded right it exactly it's in that vertical position was at the angle which makes sense right yeah. you get this multiplier effect Oh, look at that isn't that great you actually found room for that and all that <laughs> yeah, I know, right? he did but see here's the cool thing it stops just shy of where that safety latch on the other side would uh -huh. catch so there's the stop, but it hasn't lapsed. But, but you still totally get in here. It's safe, it's secure. And then all it is is just a little push to get into that latch. So now with this simple, small, and lightweight electric actuator to lift the cab, it'll lift that cab easily with the lightweight things I intend to have in those overhead storage cab boxes, as well as the added components of the seals and those pass-through doors that are still need to be finished up inside the cab, some additional radios and things like that. And of course, the center console is going to be added to that cab. They're going to add some additional weight. So now it'll be lifted up easily, and it does have some fail-safes included within it. And so that's going to really help for just everyday maintenance of checking the oil and other fluids, lifting that cab up for those purposes. And certainly if you need any help or anything, certainly do reach out and be happy to help out and I can. And now that this is in there, of course, I can finish up some of those over cab roof, you know, items or the wiring and stuff, as well as those pass-through doors and everything. And so I'm looking forward to finishing up in my future videos. Done. <laughs> Pretty sweet, huh? <laughs> so that is so exciting to have this done. And now it's time to move on to some other things, finishing up these projects and also sharing them more with you as I get time to make these videos and share them with you, which I'm super excited about. It definitely takes a lot of time. Thank you for watching, subscribing, and looking for sharing more. Now it's time for a little bit of a celebratory drink. Oh my Beautiful, goodness. huh? I am officially <laughs> impressed. <laughs> Yay! Let's put this back.